Hey, Gary Bernier, Wizard of Digital at Business Growth Guys, a Wizard of Ads partner. And today we're going to talk about the five reasons why every business needs a website. The first reason that everybody needs a website is we start with search. Everybody goes to Google, whether it's on their phone or in front of their computer, and goes looking for the product or service that they're looking for. So if you don't have a website, you're not even going to show up. So it's important to show up. So there's the first reason, you need to show up in the search results. Second reason, it's the beginning of your sales process. When somebody comes to your website, they wanna find out information about the product or service that they're looking for because they have a problem. And they wanna know that you solve their problem. And the way they're gonna figure that out is by going to your website. Right? So it's the beginning of your sales process. It introduces them to you, your business, and the, thing, the products and services that you have to offer. Now, reason number three is that you need to provide proof on the website. You need pictures and videos and testimonials and reviews of you doing what you actually do for customers. Because people want to see that you've done it for somebody else. They want to know that you're good at what you do. And so you need to provide these proof points. Number four, you need to have your contact information, you need to have your phone number, you need to have your email, and more importantly, you need to have your hours of operation up to date. People go there wondering if they can call you now, are you gonna pick up the phone, are you gonna answer your email? And so, you do all this work to build a website, you better pick up the phone, you better answer those emails in a timely fashion, because that's somebody trying to buy something from you. The last thing, number five, that you need is you need to put price and time frame on your website. Now, a lot of people go, oh, I don't want to put price on there because my competitors are going to see it. Yeah, your competitors are going to see it. So what? It doesn't matter. If the customer's on your website and they're looking at what you do, they want to know what your price is because if it fits within their budget, they're going to pick up the phone and call you. You don't want to deal with those low priced people that are just looking for the lowest price. So don't worry about it. A lot of service based businesses struggle with price because they go, huh, how is it that I know how to configure the price? And it's you provide a range. Here's the low end of my service. Here's the high end of my service. And here's the five factors that change whether you're at the low end or the high end of my service. So you provide a range of price and you tell people what the factors are that affect the price and you put that on. I'll give you an example of that. I'll flash one up on the screen. Last thing you need is time frame. So if you're providing a service, people want to know how long it takes uh, for the process, to, the process to take. It also, you know, from start to finish, how long is it? What do they have to do? What do you have to do? So having a process map or a timeline is handy information for somebody so that they can understand how the engagement with you works. So there's your five reasons why you need to have a website. If you like this video, click like, click subscribe, watch some of the other videos. Thanks for tuning in.